just finished our Spirit flight, our first Spirit Airlines flight ever. And, um, just gonna explain our review of Spirit Airlines. We did one-way Spirit and then going home it's gonna be United. Yep. Uh, which is the same United thing we did with... owns our airport essentially. Yeah, and it's the same thing we did with Frontier where we tried them out. Yeah. Um, I would suggest that that's my number one tip is probably not to do it both ways for a trip because then you'll probably be more irritable yeah. at the end. So the good of the trip is the, the staff was super duper friendly. Yeah, they, were. They, they were on point. Uh, I would dare to say that I would actually hang out with some of the people in the staff. <laughs> and um, uh, the flight was super duper smooth, right? There was really? no sense of turbulence whatsoever. Uh, they let you know when they were going to turn on and off the seatbelt light and gave you like a little bit of a countdown before they took off. So they're like, oh, make sure you download any movies you, you want because we don't have Wi Fi on this plane. We're not quite there yet. I thought that was awesome. Oh, we got here ridiculously fast okay Real so fast. so the flight that we booked was supposed to be about three and a half hours because i checked before with the time difference and everything right. like that then when we got on the plane they said it's going to take two hours and 47 minutes and we're like oh cool we're going to get there a little bit faster we got here in two hours and 10 minutes and spirit airlines would like to be the first to welcome you to new orleans louisiana for the local time is approximately 8 54 a.m for those of you that cannot do math we were supposed to be here at 9.24, so that means we got here a whole 30 minutes early. Let's give our pilots a round of applause for getting us here early and safely. It got here really fast and it yeah. was smooth the entire time. Like this is probably noticeably the one of the smoothest flights um, I've ever been on. I feel like because we were prepared for our uh, flight with Spirit, it wasn't frustrating, so we bought snacks, we bought a water bottle and filled it in the airport. And then we also figured out that if you have a bag from a vendor in the airport uh, at your terminal, you can bring it on without it counting towards your personal bag. So what we did was we went to Hudson News, got some snacks, like two bags of snacks that we barely finished. Um, and then put our water bottle in there and some other stuff we couldn't really fit in our <laughs> personal bags just so it's a little more comfortable and they totally didn't say anything we double checked to make sure our bags fit uh which they absolutely did they were a little uh tight because of like objects that were in there that kind of like kept it from going all the way in but they both fit yes. perfectly um, and then we got on the flight, everybody was, the staff was really nice and it wasn't too crowded, well it was overcrowded because they had to offer the, you know, the volunteer, anyone who wants to go on a later flight. And we but almost took it. We almost took it, if it wasn't for the fact that it came so late, but it, well maybe it would have been early, but who knows. The bad. Um, <laughs> so we were sitting in the emergency aisle or more leg room because they said that the pitch was small and it's not good for people that are tall. For those of you who don't know, I'm six foot two. <laughs> not ridiculously tall, but definitely taller than average. Right. Um, here's the thing, the seats stop right about here. So I fell asleep because we had an early morning flight and my neck just like <laughs> kept going over the seat like that. I'm still kind of like uncomfortable and trying to crack my back to, to get it right. So that was bad. Yeah. Uh, the seats do not recline. That is no, also bad. They don't um, if you do not, if you do not have a printer, they're gonna charge you to print out your boarding pass. You're gonna have to go to like a Staples yeah. or something like that. Which would probably would have been more frustrating if we didn't know beforehand. Yeah. Uh, but since I was at work yesterday, I just printed out like four copies and just folded them the way they said to fold them, and then um, we put it in our bags so that we had them. I heard that the app is not that great, but. The app is the other alternative to having a free boarding pass. You have to pay for uh, every beverage, snack option, and snack option that they give you on the plane. So they give you a bottle of water for three dollars. Somebody said that they're really thirsty because obviously when you're in the air for a while, yeah, yeah. for those of you who know, you get dried out from a uh, lack of moisture in the air. So they said that they couldn't give them a bottle of water because it was three dollars. Like they couldn't give it to them for free, but they could give them ice. Which I thought was Which a was sweet nice. yeah. like offer because he could have been like, yeah, we don't, yeah, yeah, buy it, and then walk away. Yeah. You're trying to. I'm trying it. to hold it, but like my left arm's the weak arm. Um, you need to hold it in the middle. Hold it in the middle. I did three fingers. I make I make a tripod with my fingers. I'm trying. 
I'll I'll take it in a second. Other than that, I really can't think of anything. Yeah, that I can't think of too many bad. negative things about Spirit. Yeah. I think that we would do it again. Definitely only one way. Yeah. I wouldn't do two ways still, and I would make sure it's less than four hours. I don't think I could do more than four hours. I think two hours or three hours is just right. Yeah. Especially if it's an early flight or a late flight, because we could just sleep and not worry about entertainment. Um, and all that stuff. I'm gonna give a shout out to traveling, the traveling child. Uh, if you don't know them, look them up on Instagram. I don't think she really does in, uh, YouTube too much, but she does do Instagram, and she's really, really, she's like pro at the Spirit Airlines stuff. I don't know about you, but uh, would you say Spirit over Frontier? I, I would say, say so. I would yeah. definitely say that so. That was my other thought. Yeah. yeah. I uh, would say I like them more. I'll give you one very big uh, reason for me. We took Frontier just the one time. We went from Fort Lauderdale to Long Island. Right. And um, the biggest thing for me is our seats were like plastic. And mm-hmm. and when I say that, I mean like hard plastic. There has all the same seats. Uh, a little more cushion, I think. Yeah. Now, really, you don't care about the half uh, tray because... You're, You're not, not really, really eating. eating it's not a, yeah. that's, it's not that type of plate. Uh, so I think that was a good point. And honestly, I think that if you're very uh, concerned about like sustainability, yeah. I feel like Spirit is a good airline for you uh, because sustain. I think it's a very sustainable airline. Even though they make a lot of jokes about being cheap and like, oh, it costs us money, so we're gonna charge you for it. And it's it's practical because then people use less. I feel like the flight was smooth because of the weight and so it, it encourages people to use um or bring less things right. and to be more creative with how they get things to their destination or from their destination and i think that's good because then they use less fuel because the plane is lighter and i just think that it, it, if you are into that sustainability uh, movement uh, which we kind of sometimes, we are very, uh, we're not really that holistic or sustainable all the time, but we do we pay attention to, to that stuff. Yeah. yeah. And I think that the airline is very uh, non-wasteful in that yeah. sense because they're very conscious. There's one thing that I did want to point out, and I don't know if we actually got an image of it, but do you know the, the pockets in front of your seat where you usually have like, where you usually have like the, the barf bags and the emergency itinerary and stuff like that. They'll put like an airline magazine or something like that. The the ones for the Spirit flight are just um, bungee cords. It's like four bungee cords across against each other and you really can't even fit that much in there. We can usually do about a week in, in the bags that we're carrying here. Um, but not everybody can and not everybody wants to. Some people want to take like two or three pairs of shoes, which is completely understandable because we're all different. I would suggest to you that you just mail your stuff to where you're going. Yeah, like we did in um, our California video, the San Diego one, yeah. uh, slash Anaheim. So check out that VidCon video and we'll uh, show you that we mailed some of our stuff or We'll home. put an invitation somewhere. Yeah, I'll put a card or something. Yeah. Uh, and that's a good tip because uh, until I started, you know, dating come out I actually never thought about that and it's actually a really good uh, trick to do or hack. So give uh, Spirit 3.5 out of 5. I had really low expectations and they were a lot better than my expectations so I kind of feel like if like Top Portugal and uh, Qatar are like fives, yeah, they're I guess fives. I do have to give them like a 3, yeah. 3.5. For a budget airline that's really good, that's, that's really generous good. on our behalf. Yeah. Uh, so you did a great job, Spirit. And anybody thinking about going, consider it and take some of our points into consideration. Okay. We'll see you guys soon. Bye, kids. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe.